Hey, what is going on guys? Darius here and uh, I'm a little bit tipsy, but I will try to make this tutorial very easy um, and comfortable to you and I'm going to try not to stutter quite as much as I often do in my tutorials because I am an idiot sometimes, but basically you guys uh, asked what the hell are clipping masks because like you saw the rose grave uh, manipulation tutorial for example and now you're wondering like what the hell are these uh, clipping masks what do they do uh, how do they work mm, well basically let me just give you a short example as you can see I imported on a new layer this cutout of a spider-man which is clearly missing a foot for whatever reason and clearly whoever cut this needs to find a better picture but that's not important that's not why we are here um, I'm gonna like take a uh, splatter brushes before you ask anything Darius how did you make your panel so big <laughs> well I just drag it from this uh, tiny little icon there Darius why are your splatter brushes so big and I then like the thumbnail is so huge how do you do that my friend well you click on this uh, s uh, gear icon and you can choose the Small thumbnail, large thumbnail, small list, uh, blah blah blah. Depends. You know, you can change various things. Normally, I have it on small thumbnail, but for this, I'm gonna have it on large because large is always better. Some okay. <laughs> okay, so clipping mask, right? Uh, I'm gonna grab this, for example. Yeah, let's keep this one. Color doesn't really matter right now. And I'm just gonna brush on a uh, new layer. Actually, let me just choose black because it looks cooler. I'm gonna put some black here. I just clicked once with this particular splatter brushes. And before you ask me if you can get them, no. But I can give you sites where you can get them. No, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna put it in the description. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just like joking right now. Um, this is the Spider-Man, Spider-Man, Batman, and. With this uh, spider batman layer we're going to put it on top of the splatter and uh, you're gonna right click and select create clipping mask and what happens basically the spider man just goes inside the splatter brushes um anything it goes into anything that's here on uh, the layer below and uh, that actually looks pretty cool what if i brush more <laughs> it looks like he's coming out of some uh, cracks and uh, let me just Look at that. Shit, this could actually make a nice background. Okay, wait, wait, I gotta do this. Oh no, I, you got me started right now. I gotta do this right now. Oh, look at that shit. It looks fantastic. Let me do this too. Can I? Does it work? Shit. Hell. Anyway, guys, you can do this. Uh, I am f fucked up right now. But anyway, look at that. Okay, did you understand what clipping masks are? Did you get it? Like the thing, you know, goes inside anything that's in the layer below. Ooh, what if I change? Okay, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna leave you guys to your imagination and um, yeah, have fun in life. Um, go grab some girls and take them home and stuff. Ooh, that looks cool. Maybe with some red. No, Darius. Oh, wow, that looks great. I like that. That's gonna be my fucking wallpaper. Totally. Anyway, thanks for staying during this drunk twit thingy. So, uh, right. Bye. Oh, and by the way, by the way, it actually works on uh, text too. So imagine like you're having some big ass text, and uh, for each letter, you wanna have an anime character. So you just clip every anime character that you can think of to a text and assign it to different um, to different letters how cool would that be anyway as you can see here I have two spider batmans clipped to my text here and uh, yeah right tutorial ended bye